Welcome to Rocket League Central. I'm Brody Leafex Moore, and I'm still locked in my house because I may have installed the lock on the wrong side of the door. Someone please come help me. But it's a new year, but that doesn't change anything. We still got a lot of Rocket League coming your way. We catch you up on Rocket League Summit 2 highlights in Gridwatch. We've got Double Tap, which has RLCS 9 look back, and of course, we'll have all the Rocket League memes in Breakout. It looks like Rocket Labs is back. I am very excited about this. For those of you new to Rocket League though, Rocket Labs is an old mode where Sonics will test out new maps or features that they'd maybe like to implement further on down the road. I've always loved these Rocket Lab maps because you get a good variety from that standard uh, just rectangle, square, cube, whatever you want to call it map and gives a little variety with layers to it. Uh, thankfully with the one they're testing out now which is a remake of Galley, and they took out the mass from the middle because that, that was just not fun. Anyways, moving on, both North America and EU were on display in Rocket League Summit 2 so let's take a look in Gridwatch. <laughs> Despite some unavoidable worldwide setbacks, 2020 ended up being a phenomenal year for Rocket League. And what better way to cap off an awesome year than with a pair of awesome tournaments? The North American and European branches of the second annual Rocket League Summit. Incredible invitationals featuring some of the best plays of the year. First up was the North American Tournament, where the absence of regional titans Envy and NRG left a void eager to be filled by other invitees. While the ever-talented Space Station Gaming, the runners-up of the most recent North American Winter Split, ended up taking the top spot, special kudos must be given to Rogue. That ball was just so close to the ground. Something's got to give here, right? Last chance for Rogue. Oh, oh what? missed! Oh my goodness, Taroko gets a lapper over Reynolds! While they managed to reach the playoffs on winner's side thanks to a strong performance in the group phase, an unfortunate first round loss to SSG sent Rogue tumbling down to the lower bracket. Undeterred, the scrappy squad managed to fight tooth and nail to meet their rivals in the grand finals. Topley and Alpine Esports united and the Pittsburgh Knights along the way. Lucky okay, that okay. demo didn't lead to a goal, but it was an Taroko. exterminator for What's first he got? killer. Taroko. The double tap oh. and in front. First killer has exterminated the Pittsburgh Knights. The rematch with SSG was much closer than before as well, with Rogue managing to mount a strong offensive to keep the point differential close even in games they lost, and even touting a clutch overtime win in the sixth game to save themselves from going home early. While SSG pulled through in the end, Rogue's efforts to show they're not to be underestimated as the winter split approaches its conclusion. More time shoot off the clock for Space Station at the end of game seven. Falling around in front of the box. First killer can't find the ball. Kuroko backs him up, but midfield is closed for business. Space Station oh, owned every up. single keep it up. up the pitch. They flip it up again. First it's killer better. last chance. He gets another touch, but he's only got 13. No way. No, way. no double. Kuroko's there. The play is dead. And Space Station have won. Meanwhile in Europe, the at the time struggling BDS continued a streak of underperformance, the team failing to even make it out of the group phase. The silver lining was that it cleared the way for rivals Renault Vitality and Dignitas to face off once again in an explosive winner's finals that saw Dignitas triumph 4-3 after an extended overtime. Now Jack is going to rotate back around here, he does, goes via the 100 boost, very clever movement as KDOT tries to find the backboard, bounces Senjo, that's dangerous, Vitality can shoot here. Oh, it doesn't get past the first challenger though. Challengers have been going the way. And now it's open! open. It's, it's the open. challenger just has to walk it in! Dignitas went on to win grand finals, defeating Giants Gaming, who put up a respectable fight but ended up losing 2-4. to four. And Violet Panda still working hard in the defense. He's in the midfield, he's got himself caught awkward. Zamway, he almost had an opening stake, was looking for the demo, he still is. But Violet Panda don't need no boost, don't need anything, he just gets the clear. With with three seconds remaining, one last chance for Vodafone Giants, or is it Dignitas? It is Dignitas, take it, they are the Summit 2 champions. The Summit has given us a decent idea of which teams to watch out for as we start into 2021, and the last stretch of the Rocket League Championship Series 10th season. 
I had to have a quick wardrobe change because thinking about getting our next guest on here got me all hot and excited and I started sweating profusely all over the place. Please welcome to the show RLCS caster and UK best esports streamer of the year and arguably the better half of subpar but in HD. It's Stumpy. <laughs> welcome to the show, man. Hey, man. How you doing? Thank you for having me on. I'm, I'm really excited to have a chat. Uh, heck yeah, man. Yeah, no, it, you guys, uh, you and Cole both came off of a, a grand finals the other day for the European Regional 3, and uh, it was exciting, man. You had me on the edge of the seat. I uh, At the beginning, for some reason, I had the audio off because I was talking to Gibbs, you know, just mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. Turn it on, I'm like, oh my god, why did I not have this on before? You must be exhausted still from that. Yeah, thank you so much. That's really kind. Just to, um, yeah, people had an awesome reaction to um, me and Cole coming on to do a grand finals. First of all, it's normally where Shogun and Johnny would be, and the fact that we could even begin to step into their shoes is an absolute honor. So thank you to everybody at Sonic who let that happen. Um, and yeah, it was what a grand final we ended up having. It was the other day, and I'm still tired from it. The fact that the first series that BDS got went to game seven overtime and then it went to near the full length again just it blew my mind what an honor it was yeah it, it, you guys did a a banger job of it too so uh be proud of that one now i, I want to ask you about what it's it's like obviously we've all had to make the adjustment from from studio stuff live stuff to online stuff and it keeps kind of going back and forth too uh amongst all these waves uh how has it been for you adapting between those because obviously i know you do a lot of stuff with in person with Cole as well. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty tough to be honest. Um, starting off where at, I remember at the beginning of when sort of everything was starting to when it was sort of starting to bubble to the surface and we were in this studio. I remember Cole saying to me at one point in the studio for the daily download, another show that we do um, here on Jinx was Cole just said, Hey, what if this is the last show that we do in the studio like for a while? And I was like, Oh, you, what are you like? And then literally, like, we got home and they said, um, Yep, so uh, we're going to be just, we're going to be shutting down just for a couple of weeks. And we're like, Okay, it's been approaching a year now yeah. since we were last in studio. Um, I've seen Cole once in that time. We went to a meeting um, down in London and it was odd. We were just sort of like, Hi, I've not seen you in like half a year uh -huh. and now you're there again. Um, but we've have been having to keep making content online, um, being in with the RLCS. I don't. It wouldn't have happened ultimately if everything wasn't moved online. And I think it has been a really good experience for us being involved with the RLCS because ultimately there was no need to bring in more people because the existing cast for the RLCS is already incredible. We. It was just the fact that it got expanded. There were mm. slots, and suddenly regions weren't an issue. So us Europeans, me and Cole, we could get involved and we're over on the B stream as well with some amazing guys we cast with uh, Supersonic and Spaceman. Incredible fellas. Never chatted to them before the RLCS and now they're great friends. So it's been awesome meeting people online and it has just been a shame, you know, that like we can't go and see them. We can't go to a land. We've said to them um, previously, guys, we can't wait to just be in the hotel lobby and just have a drink. Uh, like whatever event it is, just you, you send a message in like the big Twitter DM group of like the castes and say, hey, anybody want a drink? And there's like five people saying, yeah, I'll be down in a minute. Like it's 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 an experience and moving everything online has been necessary, um, but it has definitely been a massive shift as well because you don't have the energy to feed off from the in real life people. So no, it's been odd, I think is the main word for me. Yeah, I, I remember when you mentioned that. All I remember is just Skybar, 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 Skybar. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. There's some good memories that I had, and, and hopefully more in the future. But again, uh, everyone's transitioned uh, as hard as it's been into this. And, and again, you guys have, have uh, transitioned nicely, and it sounds great. So I, I want to talk now about that cast, too, and, and the games and everything that happened, because that was a wild weekend to end off the European Regional number three in that winter split. Yo, EU was just all <laughs> over the place. Like we just, j let's just cover that in general right now. EU was everywhere. It seemed like predictability mm -hmm. was out the window. I mean, it started off where like day one or day two, it was in a case of, oh, okay, top blokes are out now. Oh, Singularity are out, like Galaxy Racer. They're just gone. Like top blokes, the guys who won it before finish in last place. Like that doesn't happen anywhere else. And I think then it just opened the door in the lower bracket for so many teams to show off what they can do. I was most impressed um, in the lower bracket by uh, Denied and Trainhard. They they did an incredible job. They're now on so many people's radars, mine as well, because because of the format, there are so many teams that you might not necessarily be able to dive into quite as deeply compared to an eight or ten team league play. 
the fact that we have been able to see train hard, see denied, take games off top teams, going through ricks for train hard and going through top blokes for denied and knocking them out is huge. But then even later on in like the bracket, you had Dignitas down there trying to do their best lower bracket run and then shut down completely by BDS who went no nonsense after they were knocked down from Giants and said no 4-0 like we're getting to that grand final Dignitas I'm sorry you're gonna have to settle for third place this time because we have got a chip on our shoulder and then that grand final I mentioned it earlier but it was what game seven overtime and then we had an our ear um, from the producer hey guys just chuck to a quick break and then um, we'll be back for the bracket reset we're like okay we're going to a break and honestly when they said that we were out me and Cole I heard us just both go Oh my god! And just like lean back, headset off, walk around the room for a bit, stretch it out and sit back down because I, I can't even imagine how the teams are feeling in that situation as well. Yeah, I want to say thank you so much for joining me, man. Um, uh, you know, obviously you have uh, your Jinx shows as well too. Where else can people catch you? Mm -hmm. uh, people can watch the daily download on uh, Jinx Sports TV. Just Google it, you'll find out what channel it's on for you. Um, otherwise, find me on Twitter at Stumpy Goblin, on Instagram at Stumpy Goblin, and on Twitch, twitch.tv slash subpar but in HD. They won an award for a reason, guys. Go check them out. Stumpy, thanks so much <laughs> for joining me. Thanks so much, Lee. With me at the 3 0 mark because this is looking to be a Listen, sweep. Listen, 3 1, okay? Accurate. Oh Never mind. Three, my zero. God. 3 0. Athena, Athena, Athena. Yeah, Athena. yeah, 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 yeah. Nice shot, sweetie. Oh, Atomic. Sailing. No one. Queso, Atomic's there. Okay, double. Oh, Dimensa. no way. No way. Yeah. No way. <laughs> For 40 <laughs> seconds of Chiefs, they held this ball up. It probably wasn't 40, but it felt like 40. Virtuoso plays it up high again, right off the ceiling. Tox misses the ball. That's an all oh, in, in in, and point score with zero seconds remaining. Overtime oh. at game five. Carrion makes a huge mistake here. Why would you turn forward? <laughs> oh, no. Further forward, shot is into oh. the corner, and Mike Boy gets the double. Oh wow, just like that, the game is over. On the challenge in the midfield, now less than 30 seconds to go. Oh, that's all three. And Tox, he's got a wide open what? net, nobody else home. Oh my what? goodness, he didn't score it. Oh, he pinches it off his post. Their spacing is looking good right now, and that pass, the Ooh. shot, whoa, marked by eight with a bazooka. He, boo he bruised that ball to the bone with that shot. Yeah, look at Tadpole. He's like, that's lead. I'm not touching that. And it might be, uh, we might flip Achieves with Solary holding onto a one goal lead, Ooh. but we're not. We're not flipping. We're staying right side up. Relating wave picks up the goal quick. Look at these two Ooh. totally different cross field touches. It's only game one, but Cash has to get the accuracy. And she's figured out quickly because Bluey puts it in his net. And Triple Trouble take the first game. And there's that clip. The highest level of competitive play, the unexpectedly bad shots can go in, and that was a good bump by Rani. 
Not the easiest conversion, and he hasn't got it. Oh no! Tip. No oh, way! It's on target. You've got to be joking! <laughs> oh! I just scored. Lopes has one last opportunity. Flame gives it away to Fruity. Maybe it's Speed and Team Liquid who have the last chance. Cassio wants to play it to his corner. Fruity's going to try and keep it up. Can Ronicky still up? No, he does! Ronicky puts what? it away in zero seconds. Steals game one. I can't believe this. I got to go to Fruity's perspective. How did this ball bounce in? The 50 from Archie barely stays up, and Ronicky keeps it alive. That shot from the corner is so difficult to keep in the air. You know, the next best thing to being featured in Hot Shots is watching at home. True story. However, the only thing better than being featured on the breakout is just not appearing at all. First up, said by the way, display some skills that even the best RL pros don't have. I've got to admit, I'm extremely jealous. I'll see you in the RLCS. Next up, Xander shows why patience is key. Honestly, this just helps prove how Rocket League is a brain dead game. Sit there, get goals. Easy as that. Moving on, Techno Ninja is honestly just showing off with this next sweet goal. You know what? I'm probably going to employ this strategy because anytime I try a regular mussy straight at the net, it shoots off in either direction. I think I'll just start from either direction. Anyways, finally, World Cat calls this next one the airstrike. And this is why I want every weird game mode and non standard map in ranked. You give people enough time and the option of winning rank points, they will find a way to do some creative things. All right, it's time to get to RLCS Season 9 in Double Tap, where we answer the question, how did we get here? 2020 was a year put on pause, with the entire world upended thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. Among the innumerable events canceled in the interest of public safety was the RLCS Season 9 World Championship, meaning that for the first time in nearly 10 straight seasons, the league had no champions to crown. Let's take a look back at the two short season and the champions in waiting who never got their chance to shine on the world stage. In the West, G2 Esports seemed primed to take the world by storm. 2019 had been a year of highs and lows for the long-running team, kicking off with them losing Kronovi, followed by a surprisingly strong second place finish at the Season 7 Championship. Season 8 saw them falling down to the minor rivals league before a glorious redemption secured them a spot in Season 9, a spot they were determined not to waste. Squishy controls it, gets it by, ceiling pinch, Chicago! Away. Oh, up the corner! Gimmick. Gimmick didn't make the read! He did not make the read! It was right there. It was in front of his car. The open net off of Chicago save and gimmick. <laughs> he didn't have his car turned. G2 hit the ground running in 2020, pulling off an impressive performance in the Season 9 group phase, second only to Space Station Gaming. As a result, they advanced straight to the semifinals of the playoffs, with only two matches standing between them and the title of regional champions. The first, against NRG, proved to be their most difficult of the season, a seesaw affair which saw both teams teetering on the brink of defeat at different points in the set. G2 managed to clinch it in the last possible game with a decisive 3-0 win on Champions Field, allowing them to face off with their rivals in the grand finals. Looking to put one more away, 18 seconds left now. Turbo needs to get this block. Good fake by Rizzo to make him go two from NRG. And 10 seconds left, it's looking all oh, G2. That might be it. Chicago puts it away. Three goal lead with eight seconds left and G2 are gonna take them down in seven games. 
To everyone's shock, however, G2 annihilated Space Station Gaming in the finals, achieving a 4-0 clean sweep without even a single particularly close game. They seem primed to be North America's best shot at taking home the trophy in the World Championships. But alas, their shot never came. With the rise of NRG and Envy as Season X's most prominent American teams, only time will tell if G2's day will come again. The season coming to an end and G2 and Rizzo clearing the path. As we do wind our last few seconds down, it is the ultimate redemption story for G2 Esports. They were in the promotion tournament. They've now won the playoffs. Your regional champions, G2. Across the pond, Europe's Season 9 experience was one of bitter rivalry, as former teammates Kadop and Violent Panda clashed on behalf of teams Vitality and Dignitas, respectively. While Vitality closed out the group phase with a higher point total and managed to scoop up multiple player accolades for the season, it was ultimately Dignitas who came out on top. Vitality hanging on for dear life. Goes to the other lane for the pitch now. Astro passes it to Panda. He's got Yukio. He goes for Yukio! And it's another crucial block, but nobody will prevent Violent Panda from turning it in. Revenge is finally his. The regional championship belongs to Dignitas. The Season 5 champs triumphed in the finals with a 4-2 victory, but Vitality didn't just roll over, keeping the point differential as close as possible in each game and forcing two into tight overtimes. You can see all three members from Renault Vitality jumping for that. They are not at their brilliant best, but Alpha with the set, the shots put high, very big to finish it, and he simply does not miss. Johnny boy, we've got ourselves a real match. In the end, Dignitas and G2 never got their faded matchup at the Season 9 Finals. With Season X nearing its end and neither team even in the top three rankings for the respective regions at the moment, who knows when or even if their shots will come. All we can do at this point is just think of what could have been. Honestly, I feel like it might have been G2's chance, but at the same time, I guess at the end of the day, all this does is make sure that when we do have a world championship, that it's going to be just that much better. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today. But of course, you can check out more content on our YouTube and of course on Twitter at WatchRLC. Thank you guys so much for watching. And for a little overtime, here's your weekly backfire. This year, cut that, cut that, never mind. Oh, oh. No, I thought we were gonna like, connect on that. What? <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs>